Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to give you a quick walk around tutorial uh, beginner look at high rise simple CRM. If you are um, looking at high rise, you've probably heard of Basecamp. It's the same guys, 37 Signals, that um, created Basecamp. And if you've read the book, um, I was looking at it the other day actually, where is it? Rework. Jason Freud and David Heinmeier, I can't remember his name, Heinemeyer, yeah, uh, it's a great book on how to simpl simplify everything, how they simplify everything on Basecamp, uh, and then they, they in that book they say they were looking for a CRM, and uh, they couldn't find one they wanted to use, so they just created their own, but it's a really simple and easy to use CRM, it's it's not fully full of loads of features, it's just got what you need. So without further ado, I'll dive in and I'll show you. Right, so I'm gonna log in, I've already created an account. All you need to do is put your name, email address, company. Now, I never when I do these videos, I'm never quite sure, you know, put in the comments below, are you somebody who's working with a company who's using high rise and you come in here to look to see how to use it? Are you a company that's looking to go into using high rise and, and move it on to your salesman or you know just let me know who you are and then I can cater more training towards you uh, because I'm never quite sure so anyway I'm gonna log in obviously I can log in with my uh, Google account I'm actually connected it uh, log in password and high rise the thing you'll see is it's it's very simple all you're really going to do is um, monitor your contacts uh, write notes on contacts have information have contact information at your fingertips have tasks for those contacts put your deals in like you would a normal CRM and then possibly the cases is for project management stuff the cases stuff I'm not quite sure on at the minute but at the moment this is going to manage your contacts and manage your deals with those contacts. So the first thing I'm going to do is import all my contacts. I've got a, I've got a sample contact list I'm going to import into this. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to import this sample contact. Let me just show you. I've got a US contact, which is a basic contact list. Name, first name, last name, com customers. How you get your contact list will be a different story, but... Um, if you're struggling, leave a comment below uh, or wherever you're watching it and tell me you're struggling. I can help you out with specific training and do quick videos for you. So I'm going to upload a, an Excel file. It depends how you've downloaded your file, but that obviously is an Excel. So I'm going to upload this US, um, uh, it is a CSV file actually, but it's an Excel file. So then I'm going to match the column headers with what the what it says in here so it says here treat the first row as uh, data as labels so company name address work address work city work country work state work zip work phone i, I think i've actually just picked a few of these out and it's remembered them because before it didn't um it didn't see that that was work website but you'll see if you've got um fax machine then you would pick i don't even know if yeah fax lock company fax phone then obviously people don't use them anymore then once you've mapped all those uh, fields you're just going to click next then it's going to say uh, who else is allowed to save it if you've got contacts already in your system it'll say here what do you want to do is with duplicates do you want to overwrite the one that's already there do you want to um, update with the information you're about to put in but because I've got no contacts and it's not asked me that bit who else is allowed to see the imported contacts? So I could just make it that they're my contacts that nobody else can see. But I'm going to put uh, available to everyone in my account. And I'm going to click import. Uh, you can do this import later if you need to. So that sounds good. And I'm just going to go ahead and click it. And it's now in a queue. The email will come from Highrise when it's ready right so that's the import part done right so i've i've just got the email saying i have completed the uh the import pull 1000 contacts were updated so 
Now when I go back, if I go to contacts, all that information from that contact list are in there. So if I pick, um, I can see that Fausto Agramonte worked at the Marriott Hotel. So I can click on the actual uh, company. I can see the one person that works at that company. And I can see phone numbers up here, website, Obviously, it's going to go to, well, it didn't go to Mario, but it's obviously a different, it's just a temporary data, right? Address. And I can write in stuff there now for, um, you know, um, friend from school. I don't know why I thought of that, but, you know, you can add notes to that person. Big thing for salesmen is, is going to be adding deals. So, I always usually do security company CRM uh, videos like this. So if I'm going to go add my first deal, I might put here CCTV installation. Uh, new CCTV install at the main hotel. And then I can put... Okay, the Grammarly always tells me I spell stuff wrong. US dollars, depends where you are. You know, you can change it to whatever currency you want. I'll leave it in US dollars. I'll say it's a 15,000 fixed bid. If you're selling stuff that's a monthly rate or an hourly rate, you can put stuff in there. You can go here and change the categories. So I'm going to put a new category and put CCTV install. Click OK. Who's responsible? It's me. I have got another user. I'll add another user in a minute. Um, who can see it? You can lock it down to just you. Uh, add this deal. So a really easy way to create deals, to create um, information. You can add a new task that deal. I don't want to. I don't want to drag this video on for hours and hours, or like thirty minutes, forty minutes plus. I'm gonna do separate videos on all these little things. So if you are telling me what you need, I'm gonna do quick little videos on how to do stuff, and I'll put them together in a training course where you can um, you can sign in and, and see all the videos together uh, in one place. So, but anyway, I'm gonna put um, call uh, Fausto. Can I do actually Fausto? I probably can't. Um, call today or set a time or, or call tomorrow. 9 a.m. Repeat on complete. You're not going to do that for this. Who's responsible? Me. Choose a category. Phone call. Let everyone see this task so they can see that you're booked in or you've got something coming up. So you can see your tasks up in this corner. Uh, you can see the deal. What this is, this email, if you've got any information on that deal, um, you can you can forward it to that um, this email address so if you copy that email address and I'm going, to, I'm going to do this what I can do is if this if this email I got from high rise said uh, this is your quote for the equipment for that job or something you can forward it to that email that's set up there I'm not sure quickly how it does it but and then that email will appear in this in this um, deal now you see there look see how that email is a really cool tool isn't it? you grab that email and you know let me do um i was looking for nathan where are you where are you here he is so this is nathan who's uh the c o o of uh yeah the ceo of high rise the big wigs so i'm going to forward that I'm going to forward that uh, email to that, and that will go to that contract as well, right? And I believe it'll add him as a um, as a contact as well. So it's a really quick way of adding a contact as well. Uh, but you get a separate e you get a separate email for that. So now if I go to Nate Nathan Contney, sorry if I said your name wrong, Nathan. Um, now you've got that as a person in there as well. So you basically. You forwarded the email, but that also added that email, that contact to your CRM as well. So if I wanted to go in here and change 
um, change some information, Facebook URL. I actually added that customer ID referred by links. So this is this is where that I haven't actually been to this other. So add a title that was um, CEO add company high rise. Oh, I don't know if it was high rise. It just says CEO high rise, so that's good enough for me. Uh, if phone number, if you add one, it doesn't want that. Um, Twitter, LinkedIn, you would add that information. In fact, I'll do it with Nate because I was looking at his stuff yesterday. Um, I don't think he's got a. No. So if I go to Twitter and. These videos always go off track like this. They always jump around. Here's, here's Nate on uh, on Twitter. So if I take his his username, go back to his person and edit it, and then put his Twitter in his Twitter handle in there. Save it. Now, when you click on Twitter, right within this board, I can see what is recently tweeted about. He does uh, Nate does videos every day. So he's just released his new videos. I can see the cases that are set for him, any deals that are within something to do with him. So um, that email that I forward puts him into that deal. So I'm going to go through and pop populate a few more things and then I'm going to show you how to add another user. Let me, before I jump in further, talk about pricing. So... Um, there's a basic plan for $24 a month, up to six users, 5,000 contacts and 10 deals. That's why I wanted to um, tell you about it before I went further. 10 pending deals. So for $24 a month, you can only have um, 10 open deals. For 49 a month, you're going to get 11 more users and unlimited deals, 20,000 contacts. And then for 99 you just basically open the works on it, right? So, um, for the version I'm showing you, there's going to be 10 deals, six users and 10 deals, right? So, as I go in and do more deals, as I go in and go to contacts and I always pick the easy one, Delmi, Delmi, at Y Technologies, I'm not a deal, add your first deal, um, fire alarm. Fire alarm in the office, something like that, right? US dollars, I don't know, 14,000. I don't know how much fire alarms cost anymore. Probably more than that. Uh, new category, fire alarms. Edit cat on yeah. I always wear it clicking edit in it because you jump away, but I'm going to save it and I'm going to go back to it. Uh, Who's responsible? Me. Who can see it? Everybody. I go back and I can add a task. I'm going to go back to edit the deal because I want to get to this button. So fire alarm. I'm going to make red. Um, oh, I take it. Actually, it's because I've actually been playing around, so I've probably already done it before. CCTV. I'm going to make blue. I'm done. So when I go to deals, I got a little blue one and I got a red one. Obviously I can sort, I can filter, so I can probably jump into CCTV, installation here. I think you're getting the gist. Cases I still don't quite get. It says cases help you get keep related emails, notes, files, images, and contacts together on one screen. A case is basically like a virtual file. So it's more like that then I guess it's like um, keeping something together that you know it might be your um, um, your burglar alarm install information and you might keep you might keep um, you know uh, install manual for JBX 900 uh, and information on the product right and then you can 
add a note to it. You can say, uh, you can like add a task as well. You can say, um, don't forget the screw is under the right side or something, right? There's always little information you might want to tell each other. So that, the, the, the cases stuff I don't quite get, but um, it does make sense. There's some area where you just, you keep you keep information on certain things and it's you know you can again i can copy that email address i can go oh i want to open that file i can uh, forward this google alert to it if anybody from my rise is watching they're probably thinking what is he doing and that will come up into that so if there's anything on that information any information on that product you've got the little link there you copy your email address and then you forward it to it and if that's a supplier of that product then it will automatically make a contact for that product as well won't it i mean google alerts obviously it's not a person but um if that say is john smith at whatever technologies who sells you that gear you forward that onto it and now everybody can see that contact within that um, case as well. Tasks we've been through. Um, contacts. You're going to have latest activity. With filters. So you basically, you're going to see all people and companies. Only people. Latest emails. Recently reviewed. Recently viewed. People with activity. So I'm guessing they've their activity is that they've been added. Um, custom fields, so you can add a custom field. So I added this one to Facebook. I'm actually going to get rid of it. Um, so you might want to put when you put um, yeah, customer ID done was already there. Um, I don't know what you put tech technician. Maybe you have a a set technician for a a user. So when you go to contacts now, and you pick one, and then go to edit, you are going to have here, technician. So I don't want to drag this video out too long. Um, there is a there is an app, there is a high rise app for the phone. Um, I will, I don't know if you want me to show you the app or not, I'll show you the app. Uh, but I think you are you getting a gist of how easy it is to use there's not there's no fluff involved is there there's no um there's no extra extra settings there's just you basically your contacts and your deals and then tasks that you've got to do and so i mean i know this is a beginner setting this is pick nate's picture up there as well now I don't know if i picked it up off his twitter account actually uh you can um users i can add another user so i've already added dave nicholson i'll just delete him actually because it's obviously me you know if i invite a new user uh, steve nicholson it always gets funky when i start inviting myself as different steve at paul nicholson.com um great new crm will save you time you don't have to put this sign up and then it will send Steve Nicholson an email I'll show you what will happen actually when that email comes through because it will come through pretty fast so Paul invited you to join high rise so I'm going to launch click here Steve add a password um, confirm your password Add the picture. Well, you, you may have bookmarked it, so you might want to bookmark it. Okay, let's go. It's going to ask you if you want to import your contacts. You can go and do your thing with your contacts. As I log in, it's going to show me latest activity going to show me all those contacts that I'm allowed to see if it was private I wouldn't be able to see them um, so now the beauty of this sort of thing is if I go here and see CCTV installation with 
Fasto Aragamonte, I can go in here and say, uh, he's a cool guy, I play football with him. Something like that, right? You know, or, or you know, um, I've done work with him before. If you need anything. And that person who's, who's owning that deal will get that note saying, all oh, right, you know, um, this might be something like wife. It's called Sarah, something like that. My dad's just crashed in something in the kitchen. You know, a little bits of information that, that you can share between is always good, isn't it? So I'm getting longer and longer. I'm going to show you the app on the phone. Uh, bear with me. Ah, sorry guys, the my screen flow isn't playing ball today and I can't show you the app. What I'll do is I'll do another video with the app and I'll put a link in the comments in the um, in the information below. I'm going to put a lot more videos together uh, to do specific tasks. I want to show you how to integrate with many more products via Zapier and other things that iRise can connect with. So this was a really quick demo introduction tutorial. Um, but there's obviously deeper things to learn. So check the information below. I'll put a link to a little training area where we can get a little bit more in depth and you can tell me what you really need. So I hope that helps. I hope it's, um, it's a really basic, I don't think basic's the right word. It's a simple CRM. The guys at, at 37 Signals are all about simplicity and keeping things to what you need, not all these other things in CRMs that I've seen with 5,000 options. Get you working, get you cracking, and save you some time. So, I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all soon. Cheers, guys.